With Ontario no longer offering the AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine as a first dose, those who already took their shot are worried about whether they made the right choice and what to do about their second dose. We had several viewers bring up these concerns in our weekly Q&A with Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health, and here's what the doctor had to say. This rare side effect of these blood clots, we've only actually really known about it for a few weeks. When you got the vaccine, it was a very good choice. And so don't regret that. You made a very good choice to get AstraZeneca when it was offered to you. That was a very good choice. I want people to know that. It's a very good vaccine. It's not that there's anything at all wrong with the vaccine. We know that it works very well for hospitalizations and for deaths. We know that it will keep you protected from COVID, even your family members. You will get a second dose. What that second dose will be will depend on what the recommendations will be. And so the National Advisory Committee on Immunization will put out recommendations for, you know, this quote unquote mix and match type schedule. Is getting AstraZeneca for your second dose safer? The early data suggests that, but we probably don't have enough people vaccinated with that second dose worldwide to really understand that. So you will get a second dose. You will make an informed choice. Like you won't be forced into what vaccine you are getting. And so more to come on that. If you recently got AstraZeneca and are wondering what now, well, if you're within the first 28 days, you want to watch for symptoms. And so those symptoms are chest pain, trouble breathing, a severe headache, swelling in your legs, for example, bruising or spots. Those are the type of things that you want to look out for, severe abdominal pain. If you have those, you want to go to the emergency department. You want to get medical attention. It's as easy as a simple blood test to start the process. But if you're past the 28-day mark, which many people are, you don't have to worry about that rare side effect. And I think that's something else that's really important to reassure people. This week's Q&A addressed several more concerns about next steps regarding the AstraZeneca vaccine. To watch the full chat, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash COVID answers. To go directly to the page and also to submit your questions for our next Q&A, you can point your phone camera to the code on the screen and follow the link that pops up. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.